what is up everybody tonight how's everybody doing guys so tonight has anyone heard here let me go ahead and bring dad burn up here what is up dad burn how are you tonight i'm good how are you good good so we are live so uh are you sick did you come no, no? Okay. i was sick yeah i here last couple of days okay uh, yeah. the whole family's been sick really yeah i've seen that actually yeah. so have you heard of the bizarre mystery of alice lamb elisa lamb never 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 okay so let's let me let's hit the chat for a minute here okay. um I so ain't at it. so creaker mariah what is up creaker mariah uh chris brett broadband what is up uh conversation patriot good evening at bare bones good evening super health how are you jamie it's always a pleasure to see you uh sean daughtry sean i'm just gonna call you sean uh, hopefully that's okay hello everyone um hi everyone chris jamie amanda yes always a pleasure to see you too conversation patriot Pleasure to, see you. <laughs> Pleasure to see you. Do you notice any of these people in your uh, community? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we pretty much almost share a community. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that, that's usually how it works anyways. Um, Freckles, what is up, Freckles? How's it going? Oh, my lips are so dry, guys. Does it seem like I'm freezing a little bit? It does, yeah. What in the world is going on on my internet? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I actually did a video last night. Me, Uncle Will, and uh, Lil Pet Eight Six Nine. Yeah. And I went to uh, upload the video. Well, this morning it said that it could be monetized, and it said I had a copyright strike. Wow. And I was like, "How did I have a copyright strike? That's a four-hour live." I was like, did "How did I have?" Me? Did you play music in it? Yeah, his music we played, yeah. So Yeah, yeah, I I get a copyright every time. Every yeah, time. so and so I was like, okay, and it said I couldn't even monetize the video and I'm like, okay. So I went and I tried to cut pieces out of the video and then leave a a full video and like send it to Payday and whoever else wanted it, you know what I'm saying, like that. Right. So, and it wouldn't even let me do that. I don't know why it wouldn't even let me do that. But yeah, I've been waiting six, six o'clock this morning to, to when I cut it to even get the real thing back. And it hasn't even done that. So I don't know what's wrong with it. So, right. <laughs> well, that live, the live I done the other day, um, actually, I got a uh, copyright from Tom McDonald's song that I played. And I only played like 30 seconds of yeah. that song. I didn't play long at all. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, the last reaction I done to Tom McDonald was um, basically, I think that was one of my last mu music reactions is I done one and I, I remember it getting like 600 views in like, I don't know, man, it was like maybe 15 minutes. It was at 600 views or something like that. Wow. So yeah, it, it <coughs> excuse me, it went up pretty good because I remember we did it. I did it because me and my family was getting ready to go to dinner and I did it right before that. And I'm during dinner and I check it and I'm like, Holy crap. So yeah, it was pretty nice. So yeah. Right. And then little payday, he's going, he's going down, down the good road. So I'm, I'm glad for that too. So hey, I'm proud of that little boy, son. He's, he's, <laughs> he's hustling. ain't he? <laughs> he is. He's hustling. I think he was on 12 points tonight. So yeah, he's hustling. Well, well heck yeah. far. I missed that. What's up yeah. Captain and Kurt reacts. How you doing? What is up Captain Kurt? Yeah, he was on there tonight and stuff. So, what have you been up to besides your family being sick? Man, uh, nothing really. Really didn't have a good Thanksgiving, really. I, I up, seen your uh, video, yeah. Yeah, man. That's uh, we ended up taking this little boy uh, with us, which is uh, my daughter's boyfriend with us because he don't have nowhere to eat Thanksgiving or nothing. He didn't. Mm -hmm. And the boy just he lives a rough life anyway. He ain't got much of a family worth a fuck. So. Mm -hmm. So we take him with us and we get over there and they're like, they got a problem with it or something. And I heard people talking inside the house. We was outside. I heard them saying something about they're going to fight him and this and that. And like, I'd end up having to fight the whole family over this little boy because, you know, it's this little boy. He ain't nothing wrong. There ain't nothing wrong with him. He never done nothing to nobody. He was just there, you know? Right. So, so yeah, I just packed up and left. I was like, I'd rather not cause a big ruckus. Just pack up and leave. 
Oh, uh, Captain Kurt says Payday hit 1K. Congratulations to Payday. Uh, yeah, yes. Congratulations right. to Payday. Heck yeah. But yeah, sometimes whenever we go over to family's houses, it's just like, you know, you really don't know what to expect. That's the reason why I don't go over to family's houses, guys. And I truly don't. I stay at home. I stay with my family that I have, my wife and my daughter. And that's as far as I go, as far as families goes. So, yeah. Right. Other than that, that's the reason why, because my family's the type of family to, you go to a family reunion and there's a fight there every time, guys. So, so it, good. <laughs> Freckles. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's a hassle. So, little Payday, what is up, bro? I heard He's you hit 1K. Ass. Congratulations to you. Yeah, man. Dag burn. <laughs> Dad burn. <laughs> that was so Dag. funny, bro. I remember watching the videos. I've done reactions to you to your videos too, back I, whenever I in the day and stuff. And I always wonder. I was like, I wonder if he sees these, you know. And now I'm just like, <laughs> what <laughs> the funny. hell? It's funny now. <laughs> it, it is funny now. It's yeah. like it's like what in the world, man? Yeah, I laugh about it. I still got I still got a few haters, but it ain't as bad as it used to be. No. I could sit back, I could sit back and watch it and laugh about it now. And you right. know what people don't understand though is is uh, like me and Creek Squad get along now. It ain't uh yeah, there's no hate there anymore, but there's still a lot there's still a lot of people coming at me. But I don't right. pay attention to them no more. Right. And and it's gonna have that, you know, the way that you the way that you started your channel, you're going to have that hate come towards you anyways. And it probably will probably never stop because once you get, once trolls start seeing you become successful, then you're going to get more and more and more. Right. That's what usually happens. And then rumors start and then, you know, all that other stuff starts and it's just, it, it's something else when it comes to trolls. And I honestly, like to, I like to look at it this way. I, I think that I've made an impact impact on creek squad with the change that i made and the positivity that i'm bringing into the community i, I think that i'm making an impact on us yeah yeah and, and you know what i've i've watched some of your videos and there's some people that reached out to me in my community and was like hey what what do you think of you know gobble nation and i was like i think he's changed himself around because i talked to you in your live that one day right I said, I think he changed himself around. And they're like, well, and I said, look, if Mama Church is willing to get on panel with him and basically forgive him for what was said and what was done, then right. everybody should probably forgive the man. That's, that's exactly what I said. See, so, that was the biggest issue of everything because of what I had said to her was the big mm -hmm. issue. That's what everybody was so tore up about. Yeah. That's yeah. what caused the big conflict, big problems. So I think at this point that, if I'm forgiven by the person that I hurt the most in that situation, I think that it should all be left alone. But, you know, like you said, I'm, so, I'm always still going to have them haters out there that's going to hate me just because I'm getting along with them. You are always going to have them, bro. And yeah. the thing about it is, whenever you was doing all your uh, re reactions mm -hmm. of like, you know, you could still do those reactions, but put them in a different category and stuff you know right. i mean my favorite one was probably like i said when he re ran and jumped in the bushes <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite one i must say that was probably my favorite one because i laughed my ass off that day when you did that and i because i was sitting there like what is he doing standing here dancing <laughs> and then all of a sudden you turn around and you run and jump in the bushes i was like what in the heck but yeah it was it was funny and another one one another one of my probably funniest ones too is when you was with Durkey. <laughs> that was probably one of my funniest ones because you look so, and, and I'm saying this out of right now, guys, I'm not saying this because Durkey's going to see this and say something about gobble. I'm saying that they both look stressed out to the max. <laughs> and you did, you, you looked yeah. like you just wanted to be like, dude, just, you know, he was trying to tell you how to do everything. And, and you was just sitting back and not saying a damn thing back to the dude, you know? Right, right. And I was just like, is there going to be a fight? Like, <laughs> because you <laughs> oh, looked right. like he was getting so perturbed by him, you know? I really, I really don't care if Durkey does see this, but I ended up having to leave the place, man, because there was so much drugs coming in and out of the place, man. I was mm. like, fuck this. I got to fucking go. You know what mm. I mean? I didn't yeah. stay alone. Yeah, yeah. And, fuck and you know, that. when you was sitting there and you was looking – at Durkey, 
I was just like, because he was like, well, you got to make sure you say like and subscribe and all this other stuff. I wanted to reach through the camera and just put my face through and say, Dirk, you're not a movie star. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do so bad. So bad. Bro, he was thought like, he was. There was some oh, guy yeah. showed up there that was playing the guitar, if you remember that. The yeah, guy that was yeah. playing the guitar. Dirk, he had him come there because I was there. He thought we was just going to hit big. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like like these dude, this dude to come, he thought his channel was going to blow up and all this and that because I was there. They ended up going and shooting a video of some sort and left me there with his mom. I was like, what the fuck, man? Wow. Like, yeah, dude. So when you went there, you went there to actually stay the stay the night and stuff, right? No. Fuck no. no I wasn't going to okay, stay okay. the night. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just wanted to sum that up because yeah, yeah, I've seen some of Durkey's uh, fans come over and him sit in a shed and stuff and them talking and everything. And I'm just, just thinking to myself, like, you have them come to your home, man. There's, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. That's a crazy place. Don't go there, people. It was, <laughs> don't, it, go, it was crazy. Don't go to Durkey's pool. <laughs> it was crazy because it was probably one of my funniest things. Because I, I swear to you, I, I, I done a reaction to that video. And I was like, Dad Burn looked like he was literally to the point of grabbing his stuff and just leaving. Yeah. And that's what it looked like, that 100%. Like, yeah, I was. I was. Like, like there was a dude that came in and was hitting on my old lady. <laughs> what? And I, I asked him if she done mess, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, we got to go, because there's going to be a fight here if I don't. Like, yeah, you know definitely I mean? come and hit like, your lady, man. Yeah, hitting yeah. On, so, hitting on your old lady, yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, so, back whenever you was having all your things, your problems and everything, with all this stuff going on, I'm not going to bring up names and stuff, but, except Durkey, I had to bring up that one. But, because I actually <laughs> done reactions on Durkey, too. You're talking about someone, guys, who thinks he... Well, he loses his ring in his house, and it, the room eats his rings. That's what he seriously said, and he seriously thinks. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're talking about the same person that literally, well, forgot to shut off his camera before he done something on camera he shouldn't have done. So, it's he'll, crazy shake stuff. Pill, he'll shake pill bottles in the in the yeah. on the screen, and uh, go to his safe and pull out big bottles of Percocets. And oh whatever. yeah, yeah. He don't give a damn, son. I got I the Xanaxes. Yeah, I got the he's country as hell, though. Yeah, hey, he is. He is. He's country. So he's funny. He's funny. I mean, I can't, hey, <laughs> if he could actually, if he, I seen a Facebook thing the other day of him, and he was actually he he had a po he posed or something. And but the guy still hasn't made a video again. I yeah. don't know why. I I don't know because his videos was doing great. <laughs> to be honest with you, his videos yeah. was doing great. But if I had a channel where I talk about my room, my room eating, my floor eating stuff, then <laughs> I would have a <laughs> I would have a great channel too. If that makes sense. I mean, no. it's crazy. It's crazy stuff, bro. Nah, when he pulled out that big rock, a big rock, son, a big big old rock. It was a meth rock. I was like, oh god. my god, son. No, uh uh. And you yeah. know, that's my that's my that was my downfall, bro. My like for years was yeah, you know, I was bad on meth for a couple years. Yeah, yeah. And uh so yeah, I was homeless over the shit. After I seen that, man, I, my heart dropped to my chest to my stomach. I was like, no, I gotta get that out of here. Like I can't be around nothing like that. Wow. Yeah. So so uh who was it? Uh who was just that? So C per health just said at Bear Bones Reactions, Dirkie's in jail for sure. He's strangling. out now. Is he out, out now? Okay. Yep. That is crazy. He, he just posted a video. He just posted a screenshot of him on his uh, Instagram. He's out. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna have but he to... did go to jail. He did go to jail. He had to bond out and everything because supposedly, I, I don't know the facts or nothing, but supposedly he's supposed to beat up some woman or something. I don't know. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, I don't know the facts to it, but that's what's been said. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it was said before that, too. He was doing that, too. Oh, somebody yeah. as well yeah. so yeah i mean uh you seen him uh, the night that he had his girlfriend in the, in the trailer and he had his phone laid down but he was yelling at his girlfriend right. and his girlfriend came in there like i'm so sorry i don't know what i did she didn't know Durkey was recording the whole time oh my gosh so basically the whole conversation was heard and then in the wow. video, Dirk, he's like, I got this all on recording. I was like, wow. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, yeah, he was he was telling me some stories, man. He said, "There's there's females out here, man. There's females out here, man. Gonna pay me four grand, four grand to have sex with them." I'm like, what oh the my god! <laughs> I'm like, yeah. there ain't no way, yeah. ain't yeah. no way, Durkee. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy because he reminds me of that because he went on OnlyFans too, I do believe, and he was Cortex. talking about. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. He was talking about something about. Uh, uh, the girl touching his leg or something, and, and it was a weird conversation. Whenever I used to cover his videos and do reactions to his videos, so Cortex <laughs> says, "Who's Durkee? Go ahead, you can answer the that." The world, one. Uh, the uh, wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia. That's who it is. If you know who that is, you can Google it. I mean, it's all over the place. Yeah, that's who it is. And, and him having pills and stuff. That's no. That's no. Uh, that that's no inside story, guys. It's you know, it's on that. He's, no, he calls it the Boone County mating call. He shake the. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy, bro. That is nuts, man. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> and his mom just stood there like, "That's my bro, boy." His mom fucking I'm don't like, give a damn what he does, son. She'll come in there packing. She come in there and had a big old bud, son. This long. <laughs> She calls Dang. herself the medicine. She calls herself the medicine woman. I love his mama though. His mom's cool as hell. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather cool. Uh, I'd rather hang out with her any day than yeah. than him. Yeah, he seems he seems pretty shade. If you want to know the truth, I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's all about them views, baby. <laughs> yeah, and he is, and you could tell, and and the way he carries himself, guys. If you haven't seen him, go to one of his videos, guys, and and watch him. Give him a view. I mean, yeah, it's no biggie, guys. No, nah. Turkey is his name, and Wonderful Whites of West Virginia is actually. They did a little show with Johnny Knoxville, Dick House Productions, and he was in one piece of the. What do you think it was? Probably ten minutes. Yeah, he wouldn't hang long at all, and he thought he's like he's... <laughs> Yeah, he thought he was a movie star. Guys. Famous, he's famous. <laughs> I mean, and and then he's got shirts that has like a pill bottle on it that says Boone County Main ba Boone County Mating Call. Mating call. <laughs> I mean, and he tells a story. I done another reaction to him. There's a helicopter flying over his house, and he's his his mom his, his grandma's out there. Saying, get out of here, get out of here. And and you can hear Dirky saying, Oh, they're watching our house, they're watching our house. I'm from the country, and I know whenever a chopper flies over your house, they're normally using a heat sink or something, infrared on the woods or something, looking for moonshine stills and stuff like that. Or marijuana. Or marijuana. Yeah. And that's what they was doing, guys. <laughs> I was looking for marijuana and moonshine stills. So yeah. I was like, dude, this dude's like so paranoid, man. I mean. They're they're coming to get our stuff. The, this four wheeler right here. He kept saying something about the four wheeler, and I just wanted to bust through his camera and say, "What do you mean, Dirky?" <laughs> I mean, that's what I wanted to do. He's, he's just that type of person, right? Right. But other than that, man, I, I don't have a problem with him as far as that goes. I haven't made a reaction of him in a long time, neither. But that's just some of the things that actually got my channel where it's at today, too. Is reactions of you, Dirky. Places like that, or people like that as well. So I mean, oh, that's, let me it's, tell you it's, something. My my ass has started a lot of YouTube channels. Yeah, <laughs> talking about within the community. There's there's uh, hundreds now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, know? you actually you actually have somebody that's actually doing. You know how uh, Peanut Hawk does Ryan Up Church's fan thing, fan page, fan page. Yeah, you actually have someone that does you. In your videos, have you seen that video? Yep. Yeah, your eyes light up and stuff all crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a really good job done. I mean, so yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, uh, so how many at whenever you look at your phone every day, how many like people at at you and stuff? Oh man, it's it's uh, it, it's a dozen a day. Yeah, yeah. I was hearing. Yeah, say, I wake Rusty up. Truck, just, yeah, I'm over the turkey flu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm over the turkey flu so yeah For now. I, I uh i ate so much thanksgiving tonight we had uh pasta and oh my god it was so good i ate so much then too guys i've been great i've been pasta. tired all day i love I like pasta. i like some pasta yeah yeah absolutely love pasta so but it doesn't like me guys right so I mean, indigestion runs deeply, so literally. Oh, man. So, 
I yeah, mean, I, I can't eat nothing hot or nothing, man. Well, I had habanero, hot, hot, or hot sauce habanero on it too. So, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, Michael Trucker? How are you? Uh, so I can't believe we got a rusty truck in here. Yeah, rusty trucks in here quite a bit actually. He is was he? in here. Yeah, he was in here the other That's night awesome. too. That's awesome. So I mean, uh, I'm trying to get. I actually uh, messaged um, Southern Father and Son Reacts, uh, Kansas yeah. Rubble Man, uh, Mike Twelve Point. I actually messaged all them guys. So hopefully we'll uh, get them in here too on another time though. So right, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. That would be I actually, cool. I actually, uh, um, Mike Twelve Point reached out to me. Um, and it's trying to get a hold of me, but I think I've got him blocked on Instagram, and I I don't know how to unblock him. Yeah. So yeah, See, I don't know neither. I don't know I don't how know. to do it. I but. just I I just started my social media probably a month ago. I've only only I've never advertised that my channel on anything else but TikTok. Bro, your your See, channel's blowing up. So I, I I've never had any kind of uh social media until about a month ago. So yeah. 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 I mean, I've it's doing good. Yeah, it is. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, really appreciate it. But know, yeah, bro, I mean, <laughs> who who is? Yeah, uh, Cortex said Mike Twelve Point is hilarious. Yeah, he's Mike's, funny. Mike he's Twelve funny. Point actually had a live tonight that was really good. So yeah, I didn't get to watch it. It was actually I watched a f I watched like a few minutes of it and then turned it. But he's always fun, you guys. He's always I, that guy. Already. Yeah, he told that story about covering that and dollar bills and dookie and people right up, coming out of Walmart and picking it up. <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Oh, that shit. is that crazy. Funny. That was funny. Uh, Rusty Truck says thank you. Conversation you patriot. Yeah. So, uh, what is that? So, Jessica? what is it about this dude? Uh, the bizarre. What do you? What do you? What was you talking about? So this here? this is actually a video of the bizarre mystery of Elisa Lamb. So Elisa Lamb was a woman that went to California, stayed in a hotel, mm -hmm. and well, she ended up dead in the water tanks on the roof. The 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 lids weigh about three hundred pound each with her clothes off. Wow. There's no one on cameras through the hotel taking her up there. There, There's nothing. There's no proof of anything except her being found in a water tank. Wow. So it's professional shit. So this right. is this is really deep, guys. So, yeah, we'll, I think it's like, what does that say, seven minutes long? So we'll watch it. We're going to pause through it somewhat and then uh, stuff like that. So it's actually pretty interesting. Stories I've ever read. All right, so we're in our hotel room now. I guess it's time to tell this story in a giant red chair that's safe that's just creepy by itself <laughs> yeah. so on january 26 2013 21 year old canadian tourist elisa lamb checked into the cecil hotel in downtown los angeles on february 19th 18 days from the last time she was seen elisa lamb's body was found naked and floating in a four foot by eight foot water tank on the roof of the cecil hotel where she was staying this sounds horrible you want to know what it was that led to her discovery uh, it was hotel guests complaining about the low water pressure from the hotel. Yikes. One couple after the fact reported that the water would come out black before normalizing and that it had a bad taste, but wow. didn't complain at the time because they thought that was normal for LA. Are you going to drink the water? No, I'm not going to drink the water. No, don't drink either. that. <laughs> come on, man. Hell no. Cheers. Hell no. You're a savage. Tastes clean? Mm. I mean, it has been three years. It tastes just like water, but... It's it's too much for me to bear. I can't. <laughs> no, I'm not drinking it. I ain't either. Plain and simple. I'm just not drinking <laughs> that, guys. No. So who would who would in the chat who would actually drink that water? If you would drink it, give me give us a one. If you wouldn't, give us a two. Because I'm not drinking that water. Because you know they didn't replace the tanks, guys. Cortez say not sure how I'd feel <laughs> with a big red hand grabbing my ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy? A cherry uh, suspect. <laughs> yeah, it's already got you by the right. ass, literally. You damn right. <laughs> uh, so Rusty Truck says, "Did I say one for no and two for yes? Is that what I said? I don't remember what I said. I now. don't remember what you said either." <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we're human. So okay, Rusty Truck says one, two, 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 two. I think I said if you one for yes and two for no. I think. 
I think okay. that is, is close yeah. So to that. everybody's saying two. So yeah, I'd say it'd be no by yeah. Everybody. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah. Jessica said Jessica went on to say that he she thinks it's closed now. Hmm. Wow. Okay. I mean, but you know, you know, they didn't change the water tanks after that, guys. They just didn't. No. I mean, no. so was I wonder if they was made to shut down or what? Oh, after it's that. hard to say. It's hard to say, man. Because you know, other people stayed there after that as well. Yeah. So, all right, let's continue with the video. Plus, there's like this weird fucking water pipe thing going on up here. Another interesting piece of info is from a statement from the hotel manager. And apparently, when Elisa checked into the hotel, she was originally in a hostel style shared room, but later was moved to her own private room due to complaints from her roommates of odd behavior. It turns out the last time she was seen was actually on surveillance footage from the hotel elevator. I'm going to show you the key points of it. Show me? There's footage? Yeah, what you're about to see is... I, I don't, don't want to see... Is there dead... I don't want to see anything. No, 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 no. It's 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 weird. I'll tell you that. It's weird. All right, so this is the surveillance footage from the elevator. This is the last time she was seen. So that's her. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. I remember this video, bro. Yeah. It went viral. Yeah, it did go viral. It looks like she's hiding. I'm not sure what. It looks like someone was chasing her. But I feel like you wouldn't get out of the elevator if someone was chasing you. That is wild. Yeah, I mean, she appears something. to be moving her hands in like a really weird, inhuman way. Like, How is the elevator doors not closed yet? I have no idea. It almost looks like she's talking to somebody right now, right? Does it not look like she's talking to somebody directly in front of her? Yeah. I mean, not directly in front of her, down the hall, but I mean, there's no one in front of her, so. Yeah, that's, okay. That's the video. I mean, Point one, that's strange. So, that's, give you that. so that video, that right there looked like she actually looked like she was floating to me. Like, like she's like, whoa. Like, yeah. Uh, but it's unsolved. They still don't know what happened to her fully. That's wild. I remember that though. Uh, now that I've seen that video, because yeah, it, it it went, it was all over the place. It was everywhere. Yeah, yeah. that video was. Uh huh. And, and the 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 weird thing about it is, is she got however she got on top of this building. There's no evidence of how she got on top of this building. Wow. And why would why would she? There's no way her herself can open, pick up a 300 pound lid and move that lid neither to get inside the water tank with her clothes off. Yeah, right. Because that's what right. happened. Right, right. So it's crazy. All right, guys. Yeah. Let's, let's continue with the video. That's super strange, right? That doesn't really give us any information. I mean, it gives you some theories, though. One of which was she was on hallucinogens or drunk. And while Elisa was, in fact, bipolar and reportedly took four different medications for that disorder, this theory that she was on hallucinogens or drunk was quickly rebuked by the fact that her toxicology test results came back with nothing in her system that could have contributed to her death. So, yeah, but I'm, that, if she's bipolar just right there, that could explain why she was doing that. It's it, possible. Yeah. Uh, another theory was that she was actually murdered. But the autopsy showed no visible signs of trauma on her body. So if evidence suggests that it wasn't foul play and that it wasn't drugs, many wonder what could have like led Elisa to actually climb in the tank herself. And so Rusty Truck goes on to say, I was living in California in the area during the night stalker killings at Scuba Sam. That was crazy. I'll get to that in a minute, guys. But this whole thing with Lisa Lamb, you have her going here with i do believe friends and i do believe her mother was here too i do believe anyways i know it was friends for sure she goes in here she stays at this hotel and at the cecil hotel which is well known by stars and everybody else right and then she ends up up top into the water tanks and you heard her there was nothing toxicology report said there was nothing in her system so it's not alcohol it's not drugs. She's not on hallucinogens. And what about hallucinogens? What about drugs? Is it going to make her strong enough to lick a, lift up a 250-pound lid? Right. No, it's not going to. Somebody else had to done it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she may be strong and stuff, but she's not going to lift up this lid and crawl inside that tank. No. Uh-uh. 
It's just crazy because yeah, it, everything today revolves around this stuff. Don't know a killer. Don't know. We want to say they're on drugs, which we rule everything out. That's part of crime. That's part of, you know, someone doing their job as far as like forensics and stuff like that. Right, that. right. But yeah. I mean, we have this much further to where the cameras show absolutely nothing. Right. The camera didn't show Quentin Simon. The camera didn't show Michael Vaughn. The camera didn't show only what only how they caught uh the woman in Mexico is because the people was filming it, not the cameras inside in the, of the building. Which I was opinion, uh, whoever done this uh, knew exactly where the cameras was. Yeah, that's yeah, my, that's my opinion. Go. That's my opinion. I mean, that's the cameras opinion. had to been shut off. They had to right. So, yeah. So yeah. All right. Let's continue with the video. And that's a good question because nobody knows even how she got up there. I mean, in fact, to get to the roof, Elisa would have to either A, climb up the fire escape, and there's three at the hotel, but you'd have to go out a window to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and a B, camera would go catch through her. a locked rooftop right. door that would set off an alarm if open, and no alarm was heard that day. Ah. Once she even got up there, which at this point, after seeing that video, I think it's highly unlikely she was able to do that, but okay, fair enough. She got up there somehow. She would have to get on the tank platform, climb up a 10 foot ladder, open a 20 pound lid, get into the tank and somehow close the fucking lid after she got in. And then you also got to remember she was naked. So that means she either took her clothes off before or, or the clothes never found. The clothes were found in the tank. So she must have taken mm. the clothes off in the uh, tank. How heavy did they say that lid was? 20 pound. Really? See, I was, yep. I was thinking, okay. So she could lift up a 20 she pound lid. Right. But, but I do believe the lid was closed. Why would she go through all that though? You know what I mean? Why would she? No okay. drugs, no alcohol. No. Nothing. And go no. on top of the roof, get inside of a tank, take her clothes off. No. No, somebody had to do it. Yeah, someone had to have did it. There, there's, there's cameras throughout that hotel. I wonder how many cameras was in that hotel at that time period of that date. That's another thing that I may look up a little later. Yeah, we need to check together. into that part. Yeah. I mean, because I know there's got to be, it, what is it? I think it's like, what, a five-story hotel? So yeah. I, there's got to be at least 100 cameras throughout that five-story hotel, you would think, anyways. Right. I mean, if there wasn't, then that's another case where cameras and sensors will save lives. That's all. That's all yes, the clothes, were, the clothes were in the tank with her, Cortex. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. All right, let's continue with the video. Or they were thrown in. Afterwards. Or they were thrown in, exactly, yeah. This whole scenario to me is fishy. Yeah, um, definitely fishy. For her to have done that all herself. Um, another popular theory, and you're not going to like this, but I have to say it, is uh, ghosts. If you look at the video, it appears as if Elisa is talking to someone right outside the elevator, which has led some on the internet to believe that she's talking to the ghost of serial killer Richard Ramirez who was convicted wow. of 13 murders and stayed in the Cecil Hotel from 1984 to 1985. It's also worth noting that Ramirez was a known Satanist. Absolutely not. So you're saying you don't think there's even a little bit of a possibility that this place is a little haunted and it can drive people to do some crazy shit. To me, it's basically huh. like saying, so you don't believe there's a middle possibility that the spaghetti monster did that. You know, like, there's no recorded history of, of a spaghetti monster. I don't know where you're getting that. Show me the scientific journal in which they've posted all these uh, ghost studies. There is footage of things moving on their own. Footage is not science. There's no one that's like, I'm going to be a ghost scientist. Why not? Because that's there's a weird footage. Thing. Just think of that title on a business card. That's weird. I'm a ghost scientist. Yeah. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg for the Cecil. It also played home to Austria. Okay, so question for you, Dadburn. Ghosts uh, or not ghosts involved? Uh, that's an old hotel. So it is. You, you it can is. best believe it's haunted in some type of way. Do you think ghosts could actually have... Attach themselves to someone and yell and take over their body? Yes. I've actually had an attachment. I said I've talked about this I on have. I have on on my one of my lives before. It literally put me to a place in life to where I felt so depressed that I thought some stupid things at that time. Yes. So it could actually happen, guys. Yes. But how did she get past cameras? If she climbed ladders, they said how many ladders they say was in this building? Ten. Something like that, yeah. Ten fire escape ladders, escape yeah. ladders, yep. which you'd have to go out a window, climb yep. up the ladder, and a Their camera alarm would 
alarm would yeah. sound if she went a- out the alarm would sound. Yeah. So you got an alarms and you got cameras just like a hotel should. And not none of not one camera or not one alarm was set off during this whole thing. That's wild. That's crazy. That's a, that's a trip. That's a trip. And, and there's I mean, I mean, there's proof of her deceased inside the water tank. So it's not like this is a made up story. Right. I mean, because I get a lot of that on my channel. I had a lot today of p- people posting that the whole Kylie Rodney thing was fake. And I, I was just like, look, if you want to talk about it, you can come on panel and talk to me about it. You know what I'm saying? But right. yeah, it, it was just really weird. I never got them before. But today was the first time I ever heard that from somebody out of the, they wasn't even in the community. They came from out of the community. So it was really weird. So, anyways, guys, uh, let's read a couple comments. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, I love funny one, Cortex. He said, "I love it when you say but continue with the video." Yeah, yeah, a lot of people does. A lot of people says they actually smoke to me, and every time I say it, they take a puff. So yeah, <laughs> I've had that too. So, um, Skyler, two. Okay, so you, I guess you're a little behind. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get you. So you would drink out of it, I guess. Right. Oh, I couldn't. Shane no. Harker says, let's talk about the camo optics that she yeah, was in CPL. school. The camo optics. Oh, you mean in college? Yes, that is a good point, uh, Shane Darker. Um, Jessica says, at Bare Bones, there is documentaries on Netflix. Is there really? I'll have to look into that. Yeah. Um, okay, Seeper Health. This is what um, I was talking about right here. This is what I was getting ready to do. <laughs> I just checked Durkey's paperwork. He got strangulation, domestic battery, domestic assault, and obstruction. obstruction. He hit her fist. He hit her with fist. Laptop pulled crossbow, crossbow. on her and he strangled, strangled her. her. Wow. Wow. And this was Cali Cakes? Is that is that who you're talking about? Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. No woman deserves that. No woman deserves that. No. That's no. messed up because, I mean, if you go that far, guys, and you have that posting on a YouTube channel or whatever else, guys, there's no coming back. And in my in my opinion, from hitting a woman and beating a woman or strangling a woman or doing anything domestic to a woman, yeah, there's no coming back from that. Guys. You're no type of a man. You're no type of a man. You're the type of the man that we want to just – Get you outside and kick your ass all the way back inside and let your wife watch why we do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let her hit you a few times while we're hugging you Yeah, down. I mean, I, I'm, not talking, <laughs> I'm not talking about like, like kick, literally like beat him up. I'm talking about just like hundreds of people just give him a boot in the butt. Go. You know, right, make him look like right. a little kid or something. Uh, yeah. It's so funny, guys. I'm I'm, I'm totally against that. Uh, but, you know, baby, 50, put the baby powder in your hand. Yeah. Bitch b- smack him. <laughs> hey, 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 speaking of baking powder, Dad Burn, you know where I'm going with this? Yeah. Uh, dude, that was a funny video. I absolutely love that video. <laughs> wherever you had that baby powder all over your over you and stuff. I was like, what in the world? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was funny. Though. It was funny. Cocaine, cocaine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cocaine, cocaine. <laughs> it was very funny. I, I actually yeah. enjoyed them them videos like that. Uh, Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Casey Shooter. Actually, Casey Shooter is my little brother, Dad Burn, right here. So, yeah, What's that's up? actually my little brother. So, What's up, um, bro? he's always in here. Uh, <laughs> C Fowls. What is good, C Fowls? How are you? Um, Bo Biker. What's up? Sleeper House. Jessica Pitt. How, how do you say her name? Pettis? 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 Pettis. Or Pettis. Pettis. Yeah, okay. Pettis. Jessica Pettis. Um, <laughs> Let's see here. Um, let's see here. What does it say? My ex-wife was very abusive. My ex-wife was very abusive. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Live with her through. Yeah, that, that's not good, guys. Yeah. If you yeah. if you feel like you're honestly in an abusive relationship, get out of it before it's too it. bad. Yeah, yeah. My 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 wife went through a brief abusive relationship. Uh, hip got pistols held to her head. That's crazy. Uh, fucking yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. And, yeah. yeah, but he he's dead now. But right, right. I mean, but, if if you, you know. if you ever have if you're ever in a relationship like that, women or guys, get out of it before it gets so bad to where something happens. Somebody gets so mad something happens, then right. 
it uh, happens all the time and you, and it's too late you know you lose your yeah, life yeah. to somebody so i mean that's right it's sad but true but anyways mm -hmm. i can't sing guys anyways let's get right back to the video <laughs> <laughs> serial killer Jack Hunter Wager in 1991 was the site of an unsolved murder in 1964 and was also, according to some, one of the last places the Black Dahlia was seen alive. And to pile it on even more, there have been numerous accounts of people who have jumped to their death from the roof of the Cecil to the point where longtime residents refer to the hotel as the suicide. If anything, wow. that goes against the ghost theory because there's already a recorded history of it being easy for people to get up onto the roof. Therefore, it must have been easy for her to get up onto the roof. Let me check to see if it's actually the roof or if it's just jumping. Oh, okay. Now you're changing your story because it doesn't fit your designed <laughs> ghost story package. You see, you can't just I'm gonna check. change I'm gonna check the right? facts in order to... I'm going to serve you up a fresh truth pancake right now. We'll see how you like it. Hold on. I do like pancakes. <laughs> Jump to their desk from the building. Never says the roof. Mm. Authorities ultimately ruled Elisa's death was an accidental drowning. I'm just feeling bad for the family whose people are rich, like... And that's exactly what my next point was going to yeah. be. It's like, lost in all the madness is the family. Yes. Who also actually filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the hotel, Good. which was eventually dismissed. What? But, like I said before, the, the real tragedies to the family. Yeah, no joke. Right. What creepy and soft mysteries do you want to see Do you want to see next? That's wow. wild, man. That's crazy. Because we have... Let's get this off the screen. I don't want to set through this. Uh, okay, so let's get this one off the screen. Uh, let's go to ghost stories. Let's, let's go look at some ghost stories. Appreciate you, P. Martin. Cortex, we'll see you, bub. Ghost stories. Uh, let's do this one. Man, that's crazy though, because the thing about it is, what would cause a person to take and uh, and jump off the top of a uh, what was it? How many stories? Six uh, stories. Yeah, six stories. Six story building. Like something would have to attach yourself to to yourself to make yeah. you want to do something like that. Yeah, that's and, evil and, shit. And you would, you would. I yeah. mean, yeah, <laughs> that, that's crazy. That's some evil stuff to actually yeah. uh, go uh, do all that. So and end your life like that. And end your life like that. But, you know, we have them all the time at, like, uh, uh, Suicide Forest. Yeah. I mean, have you ever heard the story of Suicide Forest? Never heard ever? of that either. Nuh-uh. So, Suicide Forest, they go there to uh, actually end their lives. Um, wow. So, they go there to actually so end their lives. Um it's called Suicide Forest. It's in uh, China, I do believe it is. Yeah. And it's a, it's a beautiful forest, they said. And they go there and they actually take their lives. But they say the forest actually takes over them. Let's go watch Let's go watch something on that, actually. Go watch Suicide Forest. Uh, Suicide Forest. Uh, I forgot to see again. <laughs> YouTube star under fire during suicide. Uh, so I'm not sure of the best one to do. So we're just going to pick one. We'll just do suicide forest reason behind Japan's force. Let's try. Let's try this one. I'm going to pause it for a minute. But yeah, Suicide Forest, people go there to actually uh, commit suicide. They say that they feel comfortable there. It's beautiful. But have you ever noticed how when people actually goes and does this stuff, they want to say everything's beautiful? They want to go to a beautiful place. They, you know, look at the San Francisco Bridge. The San Francisco Bridge is huge for suicides. Huge. So, I mean, and people jump off of it and commit suicide all the time. So, but Suicide Forest is one just like that. Suicide Forest is actually a forest. And Logan Paul actually went there and he recorded, but he, he recorded a body and he, he wasn't supposed to, and he actually put it out there. And when he put it out there, uh, he got caught on it and then he got in some huge trouble for it as well. So can you hear me, Dad Burn? All right, Seafowls, how's it going? 
Jessica Pettis, how's it going? Uh, Humble trade fix. Well, how's it going? Not much C files. Okay. Yes. Riley, how's it? It's in Japan. It is in Japan, actually. Uh, the queen. How's it going, the queen? Can you Scuba hear me? Sam yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Scuba <laughs> Sam says, Bare Bones, the overnight channel, actually investigated the Cecil's Hotel. It's a long video, but they are most respectful channel I watch. Okay, and how long is the video, do you think? How long is this video? This video is seven minutes. Let's, seven minutes. Let's go ahead and start this video. Yeah. Jump right on in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I didn't like that sound. <laughs> That's kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> like, it should have been a lot better than that. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me pause this for a second. The queen. So you're in the hospital. I'm in the, I'm, I'm alive in the hospital and on morphine. So I apologize ahead of time. If I say something off the wall, you're good the queen. So are you okay though? That's all we matter. All we care about. Right. Right. Fancy seeing you here, Jamie. Jamie's so wonderful guys. Jamie's so wonderful. Yeah. All right. Let's start back. Let's start the video back. I'm now finally. Oh, it's two Japan's minutes. Suicide for us. The world's famous suicide forest, where around more than 150 people who come here to commit suicide. And the science here says that if you're depressed, if you're lonely, and if you want to change your mind, and you do not want to go on to commit suicide, think of your family, think of your loved ones. And this is the number to call if you really need help. And if wow. you look over here, it says here that uh, it says here that uh, no entry, but I'm going in now. It's very quiet here. Set for the wind. He doesn't want to go in there all the way. Only, I can only feel my, wow. I can only hear my breathing. It's, it's so quiet that um, there are no animals here, there are no birds here, and as as if that there's no living thing here. It's only that the dead, and there's no one else. We'll see you. Wow. That's crazy. That's you know, wild. the movie doesn't know justice neither. The the four, I think it's called the forest. It's based yeah. on the suicide forest, and it does absolutely no justice. The suicide forest is like, what do you say, a hundred and fifty people a year? Yeah, commit suicide there. That's wild. And it got so bad to where they say that they actually had to go in with a search group, and they actually the they leave the people there. Right. That's what they do because there's so many pe people they can't keep up with that wow. actually commit suicide in the suicide forest. That's trippy. It's, <laughs> it's crazy That's because crazy. that guy, that the people in Japan say they don't even want to go close to this forest. Well, I'd say not. <laughs> because they say that something takes over you and drags you in there. You feel that's depressed. what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. That, that's, that's what they say it does. It's kind of like they kind of. So the 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 energy takes you over basically. Like they're sacrificing themselves or something. Yeah, yeah, like that's, that's basically shit. what it is. That's yeah. basically sacrificing herself. Good point. Satan or something. That's what I. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. have you have you ever heard the Island of Dolls? No. no. 
You haven't. No. Let's, let's look that one up. The Island of Dolls. I, I uh, my little brother said that, and I actually like this one. Island of Dolls. Island of Dogs, Mexico. 